Hello Level by Level Gaming and this is going to be a video on how to make a backup of your internal SD card using Win32 Disk Imager. Now the reason I'm making this video is because a viewer posted the question how do I clone my internal SD card and um, like I said I wanted to answer her question and show how to do it with Win Disk Imager. Now to do this you are going to have to watch this video and you are going to have to take your PAP K3 Plus apart to get this internal SD card out and to make this image. So the things that you're going to need is you're going to need a SD to USB see if I put that right and you're going to need something similar to this um, one of these devices anything that can read your SD card now I have one that looks very similar to this and it works out really well and that's what I use to um, do anything with my SD cards so once you have something like that you have your card out of your case then what you're going to need is the program itself. So we're just going to go here to Win32 and find Win32 Disk Imager. You'll see it here on SourceForge and simply go to download. It will take it a few seconds when it pops up. there you go now I'm not going to save it and go through the whole process it's basically just like in downloading and installing any other program on your computer um, this is where you find it and this is what it's called so once you go through that and you have it installed obviously I'm not going to do it because I already have it um, and you have your stuff that you need then you're going to place your micro SD card in your reader connect it to your computer and run win 32 disk imager now mine is connected into the H drive but what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a path for it to write the image to so this is where it's reading from this is where it's going to so I'm just going to go with my desktop here I'm going to go with PAP back up and you can name that anything you want uh, just as long as it makes sense to you dot IMG so once you have your file that it's uh, reading to named here you're going to open it and you are going to go to read and it is going to read the data from your internal SD card and create a image file for you to use as a backup so we're going to go ahead and go with read here and it's going to take my computer three minutes and 42 seconds to create that image so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward the video uh, to a point beyond that so you don't have to watch a progress bar go for three minutes but like I said that is the process of getting it started so let's go ahead and fast forward forward now all right so we fast forwarded to the end of the process here and as you can see it only has a few seconds to go um, but now you have a image that is finishing up with a uh, backup of your original like I said that's the only 100% way to know that you have your exact operating system um, is to make up your own backup here so now that it's finished we will go to OK now you have a backup image on your desktop here so the same thing would go if you wanted to write it to let's say you messed your, your system up and you wanted to um, put it back onto an SD card or make a copy of it onto another SD card and transplant it however you wanted to do that you'd have to insert your new card into the device into your computer 
of course we're not going to format it because it can't read the partition style or the uh, this is a Windows computer so it doesn't understand what it's looking at we're not going to format it there and you're going to open up your win 32 disk imager you're going to see the drive that it's placed in now you need to find the file here so you're going to go to your desktop and let's see here desktop and you want to find your image file so here is your backup image you're going to open that and instead of reading this time you are going to write from this image back onto whatever disk you've put back in here now obviously I'm not going to do that because mine is perfectly fine but that is the reverse process of reflashing your image so once again this has been level by level gaming and I hope this helps with this problem here of how do you clone your internal SD card and not only cloning it but flashing it back to the internal drive and once again thank you for watching if you liked the video and it helped please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos